Hello and welcome to today's video. So for today, what I am planning to do is just go over my plans for these enclosures that I have in front of me here. So um, like I introduced in my reptile tour video, um, this here is Gizmo Sank. So I made the decision to go bioactive with a few of these enclosures, him being one of them. Amongst him are going to be my Pac-Man frogs. They are also going to be going bioactive and my Fault Python. He's actually out right now. Hi, Ka. So, basically, what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you where I plan on moving them temporarily while the um, cleanup crew establishes. Okay, so here is the temporary enclosures. This is basically where everybody's going to hang out for about three to four weeks. Um, I didn't really do anything special to these bins, which for those wondering, I did get the white and blue ones um, out at Home Depot and the black one in the Walmart. Um, they're basically just going to hang out in here waiting for the isopods and springtails to get used to their new environment as well as start reproduction. And um, yeah, once that period passes, they're going to be reintroduced into their setups, which will include, like I mentioned, the cleanup crew and then live plants and all the other natural materials like moss. I will um, be doing videos on the enclosures as well, but I just wanted to show you guys what um, is the process prior to doing that because um, you do have to do that because there is a possibility that something can go wrong, um, like the isopods not establishing well or the springtail. So in those three to four weeks, you pretty much get that period to make sure everything's all set before introducing them and that's basically what I'm gonna do um, and then I do know that this doesn't have any heating or lighting at the moment but it will shortly um, I just haven't moved them over but I will insert a final clip when that's all done just so you guys can see what it looks like I almost forgot um, so for those wondering how I did this um, I use a soldering iron which is just this tool right here I bought it for a few bucks on Amazon and basically that's what I use to poke holes in everybody's enclosures like this and then for gizmos I poked four holes and then used a box cutter to cut that square out for his basking lamp but yeah it's pretty easy to set up and um, these bins are like I said just temporary so um, this will do for the three to four weeks they'll be in here Okay, so I've moved everyone into their temporary enclosures. Uh, down here is Gizmos. Um, like I mentioned, he has his basking spot there. And just a hide over there with a heat pad for the nighttime. Over here, I have both of my frogs and Ka. I'll go ahead and let you see what it looks like on the inside. So this here is one of them. He's over there by the water bowl. And over here is the other one and then below here is Ka and I'll go ahead and insert a clip of what his enclosure looks like but yeah as I mentioned they'll be in here for about three to four weeks and then they'll be moved right back into their normal enclosures okay and here's Ka's temporary enclosure it just has a, a hide over there with a heat pad underneath and then a water bowl Okay, and to wrap up today's video, I just wanted to show you guys that the enclosure is all empty. So here's Gizmos. Here are the frogs. And that is my ball python cause. And for those wondering what happened to my leopard gecko, he is fine. He's just moved into my sister's room along with a new addition that I'll introduce in my next reptile tour video. And um, I am planning on getting a new addition to add in there. And I will, again, let you guys know that in the next reptile tour video um, but yeah that's pretty much part one of my bioactive progress and I will check back in in my next video when I get everything started um, so please leave a comment or any questions you may have and subscribe and I will do my best to reply to everyone and um, yeah thank you for watching